true story. So the longest country music bus ride I ever took in my life to play the music. Way back in 1973, I was just a kid in Lester Flint's band. We finished playing up our songs on a Wednesday night in Halifax, Nova Scotia. Uh -huh. And on Sunday afternoon, we had to be in Miami, Florida to play a bluegrass festival. Thought we'd never get there. Finally got down to Florida. Pulled our bus up under this pretty oak tree. And there was an old gentleman standing under the tree. He was magical. He was mystical. I couldn't take my eyes off of him. He had silver hair, smoking a cigarette, carrying a briefcase in a pasture, and had on a Seminole Indian coat. Lester Flatt finally spoke up and said, look at there. There stands Mr. Irvin T. Rouse. I said, now who is Irvin T. Rouse? He said, well, he's the gentleman who composed the fiddle song called the Orange Blossom Special. <laughs> so I had to meet him. Got my camera, jumped out of the bus, took Mr. Irvin Rouse's picture, shook his hand, tried to talk to him. But I found out pretty quick that he wasn't at home in his mind anymore, you see. But you could tell greatness has once been there for sure. Royalty. Now in his good days, Mr. Irvin, he played the fiddle. He had a brother named Gordon who played the guitar. And they used to travel all up and down the eastern seaboard in a Ford car. Played it for nickels and dimes and quarters with their hats on the corners. Got to. 